The Learning Lab in the Middle School has been designed to improve the learning, but specifically uh, with mathematics in mind. If you see the spaces, there's distinctive features in the different areas, so the students can select where they're working based on their particular preference in terms of learning style or the needs of the group depending on the math challenge that they're trying to tackle. So they have greater agency in terms of the decisions that they are making and the teachers are better able to monitor the learning of each one of the students. The Learning Lab, the good thing about it is the different spaces accommodate to different people or different like groups of people. You get a brief introduction of what you're going to learn. So if I feel like more confident on something, I would choose self-directed because I can go through the tasks like by myself. Or if I don't feel as confident as something, I like do teacher-directed so I can get like help whenever I need for the subject. A self-directed lesson is when um, a teacher pretty much gives you a lesson plan, but you can choose like the order of the tasks if you want to most of the time. And also, um, like usually there's some option between um, a higher level and a lower level. I ch chose to do teacher directive because I get my work done. And if I do self-directed, it can be hard for me to not get distracted by my um, classmates. I chose to learn self-directed because I already understand the topic that we're learning, so I want to work on my own. We're seeing an increase in student engagement. Students are really beginning to think about what's best for their own learning. And by allowing them choice in how they learn and where they learn, they're taking ownership. And as a result, they're more invested. Different people learn in different ways. It gives us a lot more freedom and choice and helps us find our strengths and weaknesses.